Episode 27. Yeah, go ahead and give us a round of applause, man. You know, you yeah, both of them. Round of applause. Chip. Yeah. 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 This man here. Yeah, That's the every, every episode, man. This is this what every episode. He gonna write me up, but now, don't listen to this, man. What? But today we have a very special episode, man. We know we're gonna try to dive into a little bit of um. I guess it'd be considered politic and not necessarily about the politics, Lord. but politicking politic. about the. Politic, bro. You don't. It's a, it's a, Lord have mercy. Wrong terminology. A little conversation on then. Okay, my bad. About, <laughs> <laughs> but bad. anyways, we, we already know what we, we got. The usual usual with me. Wrong the one right it here, is. man. It is. Jerome. Stop that shit. Start. No, introduce job. Go ahead. Anyway. And we already know Jabo the Virgo. Mm-hmm. I'm a Virgo too. And we got a guest with us, man. We starting new. We're going to let uh-huh. you introduce yourself. Oh, Give yeah. a little talk, man. Introduce them to her. Like, for sure. You know, know what you know what you do, what you're here for. Man. Uh, hey, man. My name is Rob. Uh, I go, you know, I got a, I'm known by a few different names to different people. Um, but, yeah. For today, I'm Rob. Right. <laughs> Here's Rob. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I know you by some. A okay. person would like to return call. Yeah, I got beef today. No, nah, oh, we gonna get it. No, nah, we gonna get it. No, nah, no, nah, we here now. It off top with beef. We uh, out uh, school. No words. Well, most people don't know. I'm trying to start my own congregation. Y'all yeah. don't know that. <laughs> it's called Rome's Baptist. You know, Rome's First Baptist. However you want to put it, is is this Rome's Baptist? Rome's First Baptist? Oh, is that Rome's Mount Zion? I don't care. Yeah, don't do it. However you want to put it. I've been looking for a pastor and trying to start my Bible study up. I've been calling this man, texting him. I ain't got no response yet. It sounds like he's trying to disrespect the congregation. And for my people out there, we just want to know what's going on. Because we, we ain't had no service in about three weeks. Hey, hey, let, me, let me say something. The internet been down. The internet been down? I, I, I'm going to tell you the real answer, bro. Let me know the real answer <laughs> why you See, when you're at congregation, you know you're supposed to get a little crackers and a little bit of you know wine or grape juice, right? When you turn the wine and grape juice into red berry Ciroc, they were they were never. What's the damn that. difference? It's the same thing. Oh my god! See? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what church that is, but um, <laughs> I, I have never been to one. Of oh, them. so it's okay for this crap man out there giving red berry Ciroc. Got folks out there doing, you know what? Just hey. okay. You go there. Right. That's what you do. Right, we with, coming man. back. We coming back. Go ahead and get this thing. So get beef it. squash. Okay. Go ahead and get it, get it rolling. All, All right. right, we squashed the beef because they said time. we can't. No beef, go ahead. It's all love. It's, it, I, I, I know apologize. We're gonna find that, that Ciroc communion there, but you know, <laughs> it's, it, it's a gonna be a tough. It's gonna be a tough search for you. It, it's a it's a little taste. It ain't, it, we ain't giving you the whole bottle, but bottle's coming. Nine nine nine. Anyway, this all right. Here. Well, thank you for coming, Rob. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Most, yeah, most yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, sure. Don't don't mind this man right, foolish. Let's start the man. show. I, I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm my bad. Y'all don't mind this man. So again, round of applause, man, for Rod, you know, popping up with us today, giving us a nice conversation, man. You know. Let's get into it. You know how we start off the usual you again. We got the sap of the day. If you don't know what sap of the day is, man, it means uh, I, I, you know, I want to try to limit my cussing, but uh, it means stupid ass person. I want to try to, you know, keep it a little cleaner today. But sap of the day means stupid ass person, and um, you say you have it right, Jerome. For those who are out there, if y'all haven't watched my other episodes, I, I, I'm pretty sure I said wrap it up, right? I, I'm pretty sure I said put it, put it on. Don't be out there raw, but but now, on the end of the episodes, I think he kind of changed some of them terminology. You, for say, men. you say a lot of stuff at the end of these episodes. For, yeah. for men, but for now, women doing it, I'm not okay. You can't say that. You said go ahead and smack her one time. Nah, you nah, said, you can't say that. You said a bunch of stuff. I, I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But for this one, no. Nah. My girl, sexy red, said she the raw dog queen. I don't know if she. This is not promotion for Trojan condoms. I promise you, this is not. They, they, they. 
She said she that raw. That is the wrong promotion. She said she raw. She like it raw. She... For me. No. I can't. I can't do that with you. That's the wrong promotion, bro. I, I just that's crazy. It made me. It makes it sad. That's the reason why you don't see more condom commercials for real and stuff. They are trying to tell everybody to. That's wild. No, it. it, it <laughs> that's the wild, problem bro. is, that is, your example for your young ladies to be, like that. Exactly. That that's what yeah, that absolutely is. Not. That th- this is the example that we setting. There's no Queen Latifah no more coming out there telling you don't call me you know the B word. Mm-hmm. There's no more people respect me. They embracing and indulging in this. And that right there, this is your ex- this is what your daughters and children got to look up to, is that sexy red. Set an example for your children to say, hey, go ahead be raw. Don't put it on. It's okay. Oh, go ahead be toxic. Right. Yeah. Sell it. <laughs> Get no, the money. Absolutely don't not. don't listen to that per, think, that illegal. But that's what per, it is. Y'all continue to wrap it up and be safe, man. I, don't be out here playing with your life, playing with I mean, either I, way it go, you playing with your life. Or you have a kid or you hatch anything else and you're your, your balls right. be hanging up in the museum somewhere. Right. That's your you own get, fault. You, all right. When so, you get them critters climbing up in you and you itch and burn them. All right. Well, all right, I'm I'm fire. I'm I'm burn, burn, burn. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you ever get to scratching and look like Dante? Oh, what? Hey, yeah. Oh, wait. Hey. hey. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> what, what is it? Next. <laughs> all right, man. All right, man. But, no, nah, but like I said, you know, definitely don't indulge in that, man. <laughs> Us here at the Mint Podcast, we want to make sure y'all continue to be safe, live your life the best way you can, and that ain't the way you're gonna live your life the best way. You don't don't follow them judgment. I got two girls myself, and I would not dare tell them something like that. So don't listen to them words of uh, discouragement because that is not and encouragement. Don't know, and don't know what your backside look like too. That's that's sick. What? How you know what it look like? like well, that's sick. What? That's that's sick. sick. Anyway, you know what it look like. anyway. Anyway, to to get it, on, it, it, to get, bad. it pisses anyway. me off. How okay. you know what that look I'm like? Utterly speechless. To, to, <laughs> yeah, well, we apologize, man. Anyway. Utterly speechless. To um, have you indulged in such a uh, atrocity, anyway. man? So, you know. Nah, you so. know, hey, hey, different strokes for different folks, man. Uh, you know, I don't judge nobody from that. That's why Sexy Red was talking about all them strokes. That's why we had to. All right, so <laughs> hey, my name is Jabo the Virgo. <laughs> we are here with the question of the day. Yeah, uh, man, quest, question of the day, uh, man. Hey. No, brought to you no. by my my fellow not, brother and Virgo man. I thought we were passing that today. No, we passing are not up. passing it today. Oh, it's literally. Yeah, I'm hey, sorry. How yeah, about this? How hopefully, about this? cause last time he really messed us up. Hey, listen, we we gonna hope that I this apologize going to... for it. And I I can see I haven't been forgiven because we, we, you I know. need a damn place to stay. Yeah, yeah, you ain't been forgiven. Sleeping yeah. in my car. What? <laughs> Anyway, all right. So the question of the day: If you could spend thirty minutes and just have a conversation with a fictional character, who would it be? I swear, this was one of my answers to one of my other questions. Goku. You... What? No, that's just somebody. I said somebody that you would like admire, or somebody that you would want to be or yeah. hang out with, or something. But I guess, I guess it's along the same lines. Okay, my bad. Let me change. Luffy. I was about to say, like, what? My, my bad. My, I mean, I, I guess, uh, you know. Yeah, me. Luffy. You threw me I'm, off. I'm, I'm just, sorry. Uh, I mean, that counts as fictional. But if you're talking about real life fictional, uh, The Mask. The Mask. Jim Carrey, The Mask. That's, that's, that's crazy. Choice. I haven't heard that yeah. in a long time. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's, that's a dope one. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate what it, about man. you, Jerome? It's a wild, that's a trip. Man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Who would you hang out with in your car together? Fictional, right? Fictional. Fictional character. Let him answer. I got to think. Okay. You going to be a Rory Cashman? Somebody fictional. Because it's easy to see, say. That, <laughs> see, I don't know. I don't know. See, don't do that. Don't do that. You know how I feel about Samurai. Don't do that. I got to think. Go ahead and answer. Damn. All right, man. What about you, Rob, man? man that's a tough one. I'm, I'm racking my brain right now trying to, I trying say, to think about I that. say Bugs Bunny. That's a good one. We get into some, some stuff. <laughs> man, I you know growing up, mm-hmm. growing up when I was a kid, man, you know, um, this movie Bebe's Kids, man, was 
was pretty oh, wild, man. You know, man. I, you know, I just always I feel like I might have some. I, I thought I would have a good time with them, man. You okay. Know? All oh the, all man. The keep, we just running together, you know. You gonna be out. stressed <laughs> out? Hey man, that was you know. That you was said thirty dead. minutes, bro. That's all I need, man. <laughs> we good. But all right, you had some time to think. All right, man, come on, round of applause, man. What, Goku? No, hell no. The one you said for me. Louie. Roni Kenshin. Aroni it's Kenshin. the first one, yes. But. Yeah, I don't think you got the joke when I said it the first time. Yeah, I know, you're a bum. Oh, okay, bad. all right, yeah. my bad. Wow. But. Harry Potter. Explain. Yeah. I like wizards and shit, man. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know what, I, I don't know. Harry Potter. I don't know what kind of spells he want to cast on somebody. Well, what the fuck, man? I'm be a warlock in this motherfucker, man. I don't trust do? that. With your your train of thought, you don't need to be a warlock. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? You think I'm gonna be evil or something? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's gonna be something, prisoners of Azkaban with you. It's gonna be the dark side. Gonna happen. It's gonna be right. You are gonna be that something long black haired dude from the movie. I wouldn't trust Potter. you either. I don't trust you now. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine giving you spells. He'll turn everybody into what little is, walking buttholes or something, knowing yeah. him. He'll just do something but, crazy, bro. But you'll trust me with a samurai sword? I mean, at least you'll hurt yourself before you hurt somebody else. That's also not magic. Yeah. You can only do a few things with that. Magic, whatever you thinking of. Yeah. Nah. How you gonna judge my answer? Could you imagine this man learning the Avracadabra spell? <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's the first one. See, my point is that. <laughs> At least with the sword, the only thing you're doing is. No, the no. The first person that say something to me I don't like. <laughs> if you leave, if you find him, Harry, yeah, yeah, whoever it is, J.K. Rowling, keep him in a chamber of secrets or put him with the prisoner <laughs> of Azkaban. <Asking> man. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Others, man. Yeah. So y'all gonna Do pretend not... like y'all don't like Harry Potter? I ain't saying we, we ain't... like Harry Potter. We just said you shouldn't. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's tough. All right, man. All right, man, Let's but that, that was the question of the day. Today, we're going to get into a, a, a pretty deep topic, man, you know, deep topic of the day. That's why we got my brother and man Rob here with us today, man, you know, here to give us a little insight, man. You know, he knows a lot more. You got cheer button. No, where's the church bell? They don't have a church bell, so don't press nothing for you. Don't mess, <laughs> mess the moment up. What is crack? Crack. Okay. Uh, yeah, man, you know. So you better stop for the man above cracking you in your head. <laughs> but I ain't done nothing. You're talking about He's the Lord giving him church bells. He, know, he knows what you think. What's ding ding? No. Ding ding. ding. Oh, okay. There it is. Ding ding. This man probably like played crows again. Damn. But anyways, we got a pretty serious topic today, man. We are going to be diving a little bit deep into religion. We're going to be talking a little bit about religion, you know. A little bit about ourselves, how we feel about it, and, you know, mainly getting a lot of insight from my man Robert here. You know, he is the, the book of arts right now with us. So, uh, you know, let's start off with, I guess, let's start off with you, Robert. Give us a little insight. Tell, you. Man. tell, us, tell I mean, the audience about yourself, man. Yeah, man. You know, just a heads up, man. I mean, I don't, I, I'm don't, I don't, I'm nobody's pastor or, you, you know, are today. I'm not. <laughs> Preach! He are, but. I'm no, I'm no pastor. I'm, I don't claim to be the, you know, the most knowledgeable about, you know, about facts, it. Facts, facts, facts. Just as a, just as a, as a believer, you know, I, I follow Jesus. I read my Bible, you know, and and I, I do my best to, you know, to live it out. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I'm, I'm not a professor, but you know, whatever knowledge I have, man, I'm willing to share. I'm willing to give some kind, some kind of insight Let me stop into you what there. I do know. I've, uh, we brought you for, you, so that means you got you. You everything today. Is what I'm trying to say. You a professor. You all he said, you all his answers today. <laughs> you said be everything to all men, so I'm here. No, that, that, that's that, that is. Okay. That is. That so is. so let me ask a question then. So yeah, for sure. what even made you get into religion and just being a man of faith in general, like starting out? Um well for me, like, you know, some people they have uh you know, some people they they when they're young and they, they don't have any exposure to to anything whatsoever and then they they just stumble into it and um you know for me i, I grew up in the church mm -hmm. you know for um, sure. i grew up in the church and uh you know when you're a kid you just don't you don't really know nothing about nothing you don't have no real life experience like that you just go on based off of what people tell you and um you know what you learn in sunday school and stuff like that so um 
you know, for me, I, I because it, I started young, um, and, and everyone's different, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I kind of just paid a little bit more attention when I was when I was younger, and so those things kind of stuck with me as I as I went along. <clears throat> you know, I, I've had some stumbles in, in life, and for sure, for uh, sure. been through a lot of things, and um, you know those. The Bible says to train up a child in the ways in which they should go when they get when they get older, they'll never depart from it. And so I've seen that hold true in my life um, because when I was when I was a kid, I was exposed to the things of God. Um, you know, and then when I went out there and on my own and you know lived life, I saw those things that were taught to me actually be true. Um, and then you know, like I said, I had some stumbles and <coughs> so on and so forth. And then, you know, in going back, there was always a going back cross reference and okay. This what happened to me. What you know? What kind of insight did I get before? You know, what is what is what the Bible say about it? I didn't. You know, I ain't always live perfectly. I'm, I still don't live perfectly. Mm-hmm. Um, but and I, I never claim to be perfect. But I, I can say that um, you know, it's it's definitely been a mainstay in my life and helped me in a lot in more ways than one. And so I, I know it's it's something I've come to to trust um, having a, a relationship with God. So, so what age do you say that you probably were more steady in the faith instead of just like, you know, like right now I know some things, yeah. but I'm still kind of like living on my own understanding. But where was the age where you were just like, I'm you just fully started cruising. like this, is, this is where in. I'm going to yeah. be and I'm going to be consistent. What age would you say? Um, Man, I probably was like maybe mid, no, wait a minute. I'd probably say... Around like thirty. Thirty. Yeah, I'll say around like thirty. Mm-hmm. Like because it's the, the, it's the interesting thing about it mm-hmm. is that you know you can kind of fool yourself into thinking that <coughs> you know you you serious when you ain't really you ain't really that yeah. serious. Yeah, you know right, what I'm exactly. saying. Right, right, you right. gotta uh, you look like you are on the outside. You mm-hmm. know, you look like you're even your mind. You know, you you may not do this or you may not do that, and you think you you know think you're good. You know, but and when you actually sit down with yourself and have that reality check and say, you know what, this, let me really get into it. Let me see what, what, what is it? You have to be honest with yourself, mm-hmm. you know? And like I said, you could look like it, but, and that I felt like kind of was what was going on with me. Like, you know, I wasn't doing, I didn't do everything that, you know, my friends and, you know, people close to me and just everybody in the world was doing, but that don't mean I was, I was a hundred. Right. You know, okay. I still had hang ups, I still had things that, you know, I ain't really talk about or, you know, things that I went through and you know what I'm saying, but it really took me like, yo, you know, eternity is real. God is real. And so I need to it would be it would behoove me to to pay attention now while I still got time. You know. Gotcha. All right. Sure, sure, sure. That's what I tried to make yeah. sure. I don't oh, no, you good, no, man. We listen about you. We yeah. Man, I'm telling yeah. you. Because when they get theirs off, I got some deep stuff to act. They actually yeah. the light stuff. Yeah. I'm ready to get heavy, but I'm okay. letting them get whatever they got to get out. That was sure. definitely, you know, definitely insightful, man. You know, it's definitely a process and um a conversion um process you have to go through when you are trying to actually go through and actually learn more about the man of above and like i said you know it's not a simple thing you can just wake up and do everything like you said it took him like you said at the age of 30 right so it's not something that you you know necessary a lot of people are you know born and can you know fall but a lot of people grow into it and so don't ever feel wrong you know if it takes you a little bit to actually learn about the ways and different things everybody like you said different strokes for different folks it's all different ways that people all approach a situation like with me, me myself um everyone at the table know me myself i Definitely agree with the follow above is just because of no offense to the, the white people. The white people have con, con corrupted so much stuff. So I just consider myself as a spiritual being. I do definitely believe as the father above and I respect that anybody's religion that come over because it's all respect because of the fact is we all are within the same knowledge. We are all born from the same man. So in reference to me, just going by name, I call him father. So if anyone ever hear me speak, just to give you an insight, like, oh, he sound different. That's just how I speak. I agree in the same thing. It's just the names are a little bit more confusing for me. So yeah, and, and don't get it confused. Like everybody on this journey has their vices and things mm-hmm. that are like compelling that keep them away from living the life that they should live. And, that, and, and also, yeah, that made me want to ask you something too. Actually, so what was the one thing that was like the hardest hurdle 
for you to like overcome when it came to you committing yourself fully? Like, what was the thing that just kind of just like, I, I don't want to live like this, but this is like calling me like, you know, for like some men, like for me personally, it's lust like that. That is the big thing for me. Yeah. And that kind of keeps me like, you know, like that's that's the main battle that I said I would be struggling with as a person. So yeah. I just want to know, you know, from your perspective, like what was the big thing or do you have anything <coughs> that just kind of stuck out? Yeah, mm. I mean, um, oh man, it's kind of it's like when you when you grow up in the world, you know everything is normal to you until you you know until you get out the matrix. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's not necessarily one thing in particular. It's it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that, gotcha. a little bit of this, and then so eventually you got this cake that you've been eating on that you've been made with all the little ingredients. You ain't even realize it. You just you didn't realize how big you're getting, you know what I'm saying? Because you're taking piece here, piece there, mm-hmm. piece there, piece there. So gotcha. I wouldn't say it's it was it's one thing in particular that's like, yo, this is keeping me from God. Mm-hmm. But it's all the things that we don't even think about, you know, that has become so we've been we that we've become indoctrinated with mm-hmm. throughout life. Um, like I said, I don't mind I don't mind being transparent about some of my shortcomings. Mm-hmm. Um um uh, and I've had I've I've definitely had them. Um, which God has helped me to help me to overcome those things, but it would be, I would be remiss to 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 <clears throat> to, to act like it's for me that is it was just one thing. It's it's a it's there's so many things that you know that that like I said we piece out and we it's when it's, when it's small <laughs> yeah. you, you don't think nothing of it. You know what I'm saying? You don't yeah, think like, oh, ain't right. that big deal. You know, I, yeah. I, I, you know, I pinch out over here. You know, uh, ain't that big deal. I go see that person over there. Or, ain't that ain't that big a deal? I, you know, take a little swig over here. Whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it, it's never just one big thing. There's yeah. always a lot of. Life. And, and yeah. just I want to piggyback on something you just said. Both of you all just said and that makes perfectly sense because even with me, when I started joining my spiritual journey, I had to find out. Oh, okay, like you said, what it like you said, you won't notice. You'll think of one thing, but it's a lot of small things that feel like with me. I was thinking, okay, the way I talk, the way I think, okay, not noticing it's the way that I eat. The way that I drink, what I watch, different things. So it's like the little small pieces. You not recognize. I come here every day, eat me a McDonald's burger, not knowing that my body is supposed to be like a temple, and whatever I'm putting in my body is what I'm gonna get back. So if I'm putting dirt in my body, I'm gonna get dirt back. So I had to start realizing, like you said, it's the small things you don't realize. I come here, cut on some stuff on TV, you know everything. And even with me, you know, we watch our anime and stuff. But it's, if you indulge in it too much, like me, I used to be addicted to horror movies. Found out that. You only are supposed to have a certain limit of horror movies, like because that opens up doorways to something else that you know yeah. you're not supposed oh, yeah. to really you know mess with and different things. But I used to be addicted to it. So like you said, it's small things that equal up to the big stuff. It go back to the phrase again, and what I always say: life's a sense if you move by the inch, but life is hard if you move by the yard. It's always the small pieces. No matter what you go back to, it's gonna go back to that. It's always the small pieces that are used to build that foundation. Yeah. Always, and, and that's dope. Um, for me, I realized what my issue was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. You know, why my connection to God just can't be strong. And it's not, you know, it's not towards nobody else. It is not because it's on me. Because like I said, y'all guys know, I've been through some things and it's messed me up mentally. But for me, my hardest part is is understanding. Because I can hear people tell me all day, yeah, this is this, this is this. But I if I don't understand, you speaking to me meant nothing, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like you trying to tell me something that A, I either made my mind up already, or B, I just don't understand, or C, you ain't gave me what I was looking for, in a sense. Like you ain't gave me that one key word that I'd be like, okay, that that's what I was looking for. I that That helped me. That what that was, and that be my biggest like understanding, and taking in what people give me, because um like you guys know my grandma passed and my dad was sick and he that took me to places where I was that made me challenge my faith a hundred percent, and I'm not willing and I'm not ashamed of, that challenged it mm-hmm. because I was like, my grandma's a great person, my dad's a great person. Why put it, why put them through hoarders when they didn't deserve it? That to me 
threw me in a loop where now understanding is is not there. Mm-hmm. It's not. And it's for me, that's always been my issue. I mean, it's kind of better now because I get around people that can really, really articulate their answer to me of what they feel. And I had to realize that it's everybody has their own outlook on things. It's like if if I feel like this is this and this if you do this that's their outlook and how they see it, and it's not up to me to be like well you're wrong how can right. you tell me that and that's not fair, and I, that's what I've had to realize that I need to understand that everybody has their own way to God. Yeah, you're right. And but the issue I have is when people push it on, just to you know get make me feel better, and I was like I feel like. I come around. I come across a lot of people that do me like that. Like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, mm-hmm. God could put you through. You just, you just saying that because I'm either upset or bothered, or you're just trying to push a narrative. And I feel like, nah. If you sit down now, it's a difference if you sit down and explain it. Yeah. Like, oh, this is this. God will give this and push you in this direction, and and open up your blessings if you open up your mind. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I get. I understand that. I get what you're saying now, but then I come across people that say, "Oh yeah, God is good. God will do it for you." That's it. That's that it. doesn't help me. Yeah. So I guess my, I guess okay. my question to you is, how do you help somebody that has lost faith a little bit or something bad has happened to them, and try to push them in a way that God is always there for you and you shouldn't give up? I just want to say one thing, because it's a little something that you said that uh, I was connected with just then. It was your understanding. I used to think the exact same way, and I just want to give you a little insight of myself, and I tell you all the time, like, whenever someone is talking to you, I had an old head that used to tell me that if you don't go about your day and you learn something, there's something wrong, because you're supposed to learn something every day. No matter who comes and talks to you, there is something to learn from everybody that says something to you, no matter what. Even if they come up to you and tell you the worst stuff, I want you to go rob that bank, everything go. You look at them, and at that moment, you still gonna learn something. Cause now I just learned not to go hang with your ass, and I'm gonna go go this way. So at the same time, there is always something to learn from every conversation. Like you said, the man up above, when you were born, the main things that we were born with is choices and decisions. You choose what you want to implement into your life, and you choose to make if that fits into what you wanted to fit into your story. You don't have to take everything that everyone has said because, I mean, that would that would be depressing, heartbreak. You trying to, ah, you go crazy trying to take. You take little pieces, and you fit them into your life as just as what you feel you should implement them as. And I, mm-hmm. and I truly understand that. Like, for me, I got baptized twice. Mm-hmm. First time, my grandma was gone, and I was like, yeah. Maybe I need a fresh start, fresh my mind up. That time, twice, uh, dog. What you do? Uh, drop kick a baby? I did it for. <laughs> yeah, dog. No. The first, uh, the man first time. This <laughs> man is savage, bro. The, the first time was a selfish reason, and I felt like I was nowhere. It wasn't near, legit. I was nowhere near God. I was nowhere. I had no understanding. You just did something. I just, mm-hmm. I, I just felt like maybe if I do this. Mm-hmm. My mind will clear. I'll be fine. Because I hear a lot of people say it. And around that time, I was a teenager. I hear people say, once you get baptized, it's like it's like a brand new you. Like oh, you thought it was an easy fix. Everything, ch- but with no understanding. Because yeah. around that time, I wasn't talking to nobody. I wasn't talking to my mom and dad about it. I was just up in and doing things. And I was like, hey. When I heard someone saying it, and this me eavesdropping, I was like, maybe if I get baptized mm. the feelings I have for my grandmother of her passing and everything swirling around me and the hate I have that will just erase right. and I'll be good no it made it 10 times worse I still thought about it every day after that I still felt like I was alone when I did it so I was like that was a selfish reason and I felt like I wasted God's time when I did that because I was not I was not there I felt like that. I wasted his time. I wasted his water for him to do that. Because I'm thinking, this going to do it. I'm good now. Everything you race, no. And this, what, what? Yeah, I was going to ask this so we don't get too far. Where did you ask? Oh, Because, okay. mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. Oh, I, I feel like. How do you change somebody? 
mm-hmm. it, like their mindset to that they've been through so much stuff. How do you change them? And be like, okay, this is what God would do for you and help them out out of that out of that dark place without you know, like forcing your will on them. Mm-hmm. Like coming from your standpoint, how do you do that? Like, how would you approach something like that, Mister Robert? You know, I, honestly, first first off, let me say I'm sorry about you. Oh yeah, your folks, man. Oh, you know, thank you. Because everybody, you know, everybody here and everybody you work at somebody that they're close to, you know, that they, you know, it's don't touch them, yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> don't touch them. That's my person, you know. I, I and I can sympathize with you because you know I I don't have any grandparents left. All, all of my grandparents gone, um, you know, and I've, I've dealt had to deal with death um, quite often. Um, in the last in the last few years, um, one thing that I would I would say uh, is that you know you have to be grounded in in truth. Okay, first thing is truth. You know, now we have a lot of you know conversations about what truth is, mm-hmm. but the truth the truth is this: everybody, death is appointed to every person. So the one thing we're not not promised is how long or how much time we have, right? We just not, we're not promised. We don't know. Mm -hmm. We don't know what today is going to hold. We don't know what tomorrow. All we got is right now. And, uh, you know, man, uh, you know, I'm I'm sorry, man. I'm feeling a little, you know, I'm thinking about. It's all good, bro. About your grandma. It's all good. Well, my dad is still alive. Yes, 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 I'll put no, that out there. Know, My pop you know, is still. Can be tough. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, it can be very trying. Yeah. You know, um, but one thing I do want to tell you, man, is that God is a good father, and you know, a lot of us, you know, some some of us uh, don't know what it's like to have a father around. Some of us do, and you, you know, you're uh, been you're in a position where you actually have had a a father there that you care about, right? Uh, but God, and this is what you were saying, Father. Did you get that from somewhere, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's the Father of all. Uh, well, <laughs> I put it to you like this: You got God, the Father, right? He's a good Father, and, and He loves and cares about each and every one of us. Each and every one of us. People, a lot of times we we blame God for all the wrong, all the things bad that happen in life, mm-hmm. and we swear like, "Oh, yo, God did it." You know, God did it. God, you're at fault. You, why did you let this happen? You, you know, you're all powerful. Why Trials you, and tribulations. You stop it. You didn't, you know. <laughs> but the good. But mm-hmm. God is a good father. In 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 the Bible, uh, I, 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 I can't remember this. I would have to pull it up. Um, but uh, Jesus was talking to, uh, he was talking to some people, and, and he said that, uh, and I'm paraphrasing at this point, he said that how how are you how do you being evil? Uh, he said he said if your if your kid asks for uh, asks for some bread, would you give him a snake? You know yeah, how how would you being evil uh, know how to give good gifts to your to your kids? How much more does the father your father in heaven would give to you or cares about you? Um, you know. And like I said before, the reality is that everybody has a time, um, and it's not the job. I, I can't say there's nothing that I can say to make you believe. There's nothing I can say to make you say, you know, you know what, man, that is that is right. You, there's something that there's to be something in you that will say, okay, let me let these walls down just a bit to let some light in. Let me let me open up, a, let me crack the window just a bit to let a little. Because if your mind, in your mind, you've built up, you know, you're against everything. You're blocking out. You're blocking out all that God can do. When God is in your, literally with you, and showing you things, you might. It's the same thing as a guy that's, you know, out floating out in the ocean and begging for, you know, some help to come along. He's like, God, help me, help me. God, come down and help me get me out the ocean. Boat comes by. No, I'm waiting on God. 
Oh yeah, you know, I remember this story. The yeah. on rowboat comes by, uh, uh, somebody on the on the on the what what they call those things? No jet ski, ski. jet ski. Mm. Somebody yep. on jet ski. Hey man, you good? No, I'm waiting on God, man. <laughs> like like, look, you know, God been God been sending people. <laughs> but sometimes you it's know, common man. sense, man. Like, hey man, he, I ain't got to come here literally physically, man. But you didn't see them two jet skis in that boat go yeah, by. Yeah, <laughs> you want me to fart the clouds? <laughs> step down, you know, get, <laughs> kick my slippers off. Pick step down up. and. All right, now don't do that no more. And you don't you know, put in no work yeah, yourself. Yeah, I you mean, you got to put in your own work. And and, and, I, and I apologize. Please give me your question oh, no, one more time, not. because I, I, you know. How do you approach that without putting yourself like enforcing your will? Like, no, God is this. God is this, and actually speak to him in a more gently light. Like, no, God really do have your back. How would you approach a person? Okay. That, I, I a wanna, person that's the, lost faith. I just want to say one thing. Life. This is historic. I know you will know about, but the story of um, what's his name? The story of the dude. It, I mean, God took everything from this man. I mean, he took it. There you go. The story of Joe. Go do a little research on that. It's to get a little insight. He gonna get a little more. About, go look at that story and that'll get a little more insight. Exactly how good he is, and no matter what you go through, don't ever give up. But you know. And, and, and I just want to say a little something too. I feel like the strength of religion is faith. And in order for you to have faith, it has to be tested. And mm -hmm. they, you, your faith can't be tested in something that you're prepared for. <laughs> you can't be comfortable. You know? So uh, that, that that's one of the things that helped me believe because, yeah, it's easy to believe in God when your life is going good because just the added bonus is like, oh, yeah, everything's good. You know, this must be God. But when everything goes bad, you have to still have that loyalty. Yep. But how long does that last though? It ain't no time left. No, I'm, I'm just saying when it when it happens and you're and you're tested. The time limit is on you. you. How long how long can you hold that barrier? Uh, it's kind of like your strength, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, for you to stay strong and fit, you have to keep working out. So it has to go on as long as it as you go on, you know. Mm -hmm. That it'll always continue to be tested, I feel like. But I didn't want to answer the question. You asked him. So I just, you know, hey, I'm like, thank you for answering. <laughs> no, we were just giving insight. That wasn't an answer. That was insight. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Mr. Robert has the answer. We were just giving <laughs> insight. Yeah. But see, I just ask these things so people out there can understand that people, there are people out there that just falsify this to make you feel like, hey, yeah, God, without explaining. And that's, again, that's where the understanding comes in. With no understanding, I can't take what you're telling me. And because, like you said, mm -hmm. I gotta take in what everybody else tell me. Mm -hmm. But I can't take in if you didn't give me anything. Yeah. Of all I all I said, all I told you was, Jabo, believe in God. <laughs> what what the, what am I taking in? Okay, so you know the, the, the uh. thing about the thing about faith is that you know there's there's nothing that I can I can tell you. Here's a, here's the thing. The problem, one of the problems with faith is that people take it as, as faith at, at face value. And you rely on what this person said, that person said about it, that person said about God. Who is God to you? Who is God to you? Right? But we don't, we don't actually read his word to find out exactly what he's saying and exactly what his perspective is on, on life, on you, on me, on she, on him. You know, we have to look deeper than the surface level. And I don't think many of us want to do the leg work. Mm -hmm. you know, we would rather sit in the service on Sunday and let the preacher holler, you know, holler at you, which is not, ain't nothing wrong with, with I love, listen, I, I went to church this, this morning and it's nothing wrong with going to church. Nothing wrong with going to church. I feel like you should go to church. The, the, the Bible says that we should not uh, forsake the assembly uh, the, of meeting together. Right with with your fellow believer, but how do you know if what that person in that pulpit is telling <coughs> you is the truth? You don't know unless you read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Somebody can hold this book up and tell you X, Y, and Z. This thing say go jump off a cliff and you'll be all right. Mm -hmm. And you like man, he said go jump off. Oh. You know, and, <laughs> but you didn't you didn't read it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, you can't you can't blame the builder when you don't read the instructions. Bob, perfect. You have to read and think. So, you got to read between them lines because a lot man. of people think the answer is right there in front of you. But I've read myself like a lot of that stuff is like you got to read between the lines. Like you'll think it mean this, and you'd be like, "What? Oh, let me think on it for a minute." Like, yeah, I mean, 
I'm sorry, you asked that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mine is like more of a question. I don't know if we no, go ahead. like okay, so so here, you know, for the people at home, if they don't believe in God at all, what would be your best argument to confirm his existence? Uh, atheist. Oh, that's gonna be hard. So the, this is the way I can uh, mm-hmm. the best thing I could way to approach that in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um when you for if you don't believe that there's a God, right? Right. Take a look at your surroundings. The Bible says that um, his evidence is made, it has been made known in, in in creation, so that there's no one, so that man is without excuse. So when you look at this table, mm-hmm. when you look at you know the the stuff that we have around us right now, it's obvious to you that there was an intelligence that put it together, mm-hmm. right? If you look at yourself in the mirror, somebody or something. Put you together. There's all. If you look at your body, it's working in a certain way that just a, a speck of dust, just you know, building over time, is not going. It's there's, it's impossible. It's not going to happen. If I look at the trees outside, I say, "Oh man, you know that's beautiful." I look at the clouds. I look at I look at the grass growing. I look at how animals interact with with each other. I look at how how uh, the ecosystem works together to to promote the, the the continuation of the earth. I look at how uh, uh, a, when a baby a baby is born and formed in the womb, those things don't happen by chance. It, did you know? It, I mean, think about it. If the earth if the earth rotated a certain a certain level faster. A speed, a, a certain level faster, it would be too fast for us. We, we, we get sick and I get that. If we Let were me ask you that. Closer to the sun, we would burn up. If we were further away, we would freeze. Now, now, now before you say, I want to say. Oh, I'm about to kill him. Now, talk before you say that. I do want to say now. Just for you, got, just I want to try to touch down everybody's out. You got some people, yeah. but you got some people that you know believe in. You know, we are living in a simulation and we are run by. You know, some people think that we're created by aliens. Some people think we're in a simulation. Some people think that, you know, we're made by computers, different things like that. So how I you feel about them individuals? I because, I mean, it is some some, 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 some things that do happen in life that you is a little weird, man. You, you know, like some glitches is what you say in life and different things. You so, did. you know, it is a lot of different weird things. But how do you talk to those people out there? You know, I'm saying to my, I, I don't know nothing about no. I don't, I don't think I'm a computer you or asked, a, a program. You, but, you uh, asked it wrong. What? Okay. It's a, it's a word. What? The science. What do you tell people that it's science? Science more science. than a religion. That like, is not religion. This is it's all science. evolution. Something exploded. Said, oh, 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 it's oh! It's science. Oh, yeah. yeah, something exploded. We evolved from monkeys. The Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you come back? Now hold up. So, now look, if we came, okay. That's not science. That's just history. This is, <laughs> this is this is this is right, that's what they call it. Science they call will it tell science. you that Big Bang, you know, this thing happened, right? Mm-hmm. And then we all here, right? But science will also tell you that you can't get something from nothing. Mm-hmm. Where did that first thing come from? Let's just give you the benefit of the doubt and say it was a big thing. <coughs> it had to start from something, right? Now, where did that something come from? It has to be a creator. Something, it started from somewhere. You can't just get something out of nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, nothing, yeah, it's not just going to pop up in the room like, oh, man, there's an Easter bunny standing in the corner. If you see that, then you're doing something else. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if, if it's nothing, it's just not just going to, something's just not going to pop out of out of thin air. It has to have a start. And in order for something to have a, have a, to, to have a start, there's, there's, a, there's something that initiates that start. God is outside of time. He's outside of space. He's outside of matter. So he's not us. You see what I'm saying? He's not inside the world. So just like you, you can't be inside of this cell phone and make the cell phone. Right? Right. So it has to have it has to start from mm, something. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it's valid. for me, if I look around and I see whatever if I see anything, I know somebody made it. This mm. house, I know somebody put some bricks on it. It ain't just the bricks and just jump up and just say, hey, yeah, you know, yeah. we're going to be strong today for this man. You're gonna come, somebody's going to come along and live on the other side. It started somewhere. Mm-hmm. Somebody sure. had to make the bricks, right? True. So yeah. that's that's what I would say to somebody who's saying, you know, there is there is no God. There is no, this is just a big bang. I mean, science. There is a creator. 
somewhere. Yeah, no understand. matter what you believe in, there there is right. a creator. Somebody made you. <laughs> no matter so, what you believe in, alien heat, somebody made you, and that person is your creator. So there ain't no way to talk about Big Bang Theory. I don't. Some two star and something blew up, and so you telling me that yeah. we got made well, from an explosion? We have this argument all the time. <laughs> right. He so, says yeah. it's God. Sometimes I say it's science. So if there if there is yeah. a creator, right, and we have to have somebody make something essentially because people things just don't pop up. Yeah. So what would be your opinion with, I guess, other religions? Because other religions align with the same thing. But yeah, have they just got different names. Yeah. Or different names even mm. so messages too how would you genuinely just in your opinion i mean this is all disclaimer this is all opinions none of this stuff is like we're not forcing anything on anyone at all please don't insight what would be your insight. opinion just your opinion on like other religions you know like the islamic and all that and when people like worship the buddha and all that kind of stuff because they're essentially saying that there is a creator yeah but their mm-hmm. their rules mm-hmm. and the things that they believe in are we different. in different areas i so, have to say yeah. that so <clears throat> I, I, I say this, right? Oh, you put him in a hot seat. Yeah, I'm, I, I, you know. <laughs> there he go again. He did it again. No, but these are, it's, a, it's a viable yeah. question because, yeah. I mean, it's not just, you know, us in this room that's in the world. There's so many, you know, different people and different cultures and, you know, so on and so forth, you know. Um, but, you know, I, look, I got love for everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of, I think one thing that, before I answer this question, I think one thing that has kind of like played the quote unquote church is being overly judgmental um you know and so i can't so i don't judge anybody you know i i, I the bible does say that you, you should judge righteously right mm-hmm. you should judge righteously but like casting judgment like oh, you you know i'm better than you because of this and mm-hmm. this is right yeah. look i'm not i'm not here to, to to judge nobody i can share the, what i believe to be true and um and that that leads me to my answer i, I feel like this um, you know, ultimately, there is the truth, and we spoke about this earlier. There's no, and I, I've, I've said this in conversations offline. There's no such thing as your truth. No such thing as her truth, my mm. truth, his truth, that dog truth. There's no such thing as as separate all this truth. Because when you got that, you you don't have a truth. There's there has to be one thing, one truth that mm-hmm. is grounded in something. It's concrete. This is what it is. If I look at this this microphone here, if I say it's black, and you say it's blue, you say it's red, you say it's yellow. Well, which what is it? Is it black, red, <coughs> yellow? Is it green? What is it? Mm-hmm. It got there has to be yep. some type of concrete, some type of truth, mm-hmm. right? So everybody. Everybody can't be right. Yeah. Absolutely. Everybody can't be right. Yeah. This is <laughs> can't be. I know that maybe yeah. this is gonna this gonna bother yeah. some people, but yeah. you know, the the again, truth is true. Everybody can't be right. So if you saying that I can get to God and I can get to heaven this way, I can get there this way, I can get there this way, I can get there doing this. Who who's right? Mm-hmm. Is Who's it the, right? is it now, the same message? No, I mean, now, here's, here's yeah, the caveat to I mean, that. The caveat to that is this: when you look at a lot of the other religions, and you know, please don't similar. don't don't come for me, man. Like I said, I'm not I'm not a you know, I, I haven't studied every single religion, mm-hmm. but from the ones that I have taken a look at, you know, uh, every every other religion for the most part is going to tell you that. <coughs> You have to earn your way into heaven. You have to balance out your good works with your with your bad work, right? Um, you know, and also, I would ask, how do you know how much good that you've done? How do you know how much bad you've done? And how how do you how can you accurately balance the scale? Um, you you can't. Really, you always say you unless you keep the score. You can't, ain't no, you, ain't no but but one person keeps score the score. Fa- yeah. Your score is fallible because you're the hero in your own story. Mm-hmm. Damn. So you don't know. You, you yeah, don't that's know. Crazy. You don't know what you. First of all, you might think because you're the hero in your own story, you might think that something you did was good when it was actually bad. I don't know. I don't know if y'all into. Jeez. I don't know if y'all into Marvel or anything. Yeah, like yeah, you're yeah, in yeah. the right place, my man. Oh, okay, you're in the right I love place, Marvel, right? Yeah. So. It, 
if you, when you look at Infinity War, one of the best movies you know ever came out. In my well, opinion. we can talk about that. Yeah. When you look at Infinity War and you look at the character Thanos, right? Thanos, I love Thanos. Thanos was cool to me. I like Thanos a lot. Mm-hmm. Thanos was trying to snap everybody out of there for a reason. Thanos was trying to save, trying to save half the universe, right? But everybody else was like, hold on, man, who, what right does that give you? to snap everybody out to kill half the universe because you said everybody got to go, right? So Thanos is the villain in these people's eyes, but he's the hero in his eyes. Mm -hmm. His his cause is noble. He's trying to save Mm -hmm. people, right? So uh, I would say this. How, how How do you balance that? How do you justify? How do you say that you were right in every instance? How do you say that that even if you did wrong, it was still right. How do you, how do you, how do you, how can you justify yourself? You can't, you can't. Damn. It's, it's, and so what I would say is that Damn. when I look at the Bible and mm-hmm. I read the Bible, like I said, we have to get, go deeper than just a service level. We actually have to, to, to look at it. There is, um, there, Jesus made a lot of truth claims, right? Mm-hmm. He made a lot of truth claims. Jesus said, "I am." This is from his own mouth, verbatim. He said, <clears throat> "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me." So that means that Jesus is saying, there "Ain't you can't get there through this person. You can't get there with these amount of chakras. You can't follow this." You know, uh, uh, this way or that way, I am the way, mm-hmm. right? So this is what he said. Okay, now either I'm gonna believe it, mm-hmm. either he was lying, or he was crazy, or he was telling the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now, when you think about that, it's like okay. Now I can, you can juxtapose that to other faiths and other religions, and you know how people you know deal with deal with that. Uh, but for me, I, I'm like, okay, it's either I'm gonna believe what he said, or not. Either I'm gonna call him a liar and say, nah, that ain't. That ain't he said it. He said I'm the only way. Well, it's either I believe it or I don't. I, ain't, I I can't judge you if you say you don't believe it. Damn. That's up to you. I can't make you believe, but it's up to you. So you know, the whole the whole basis of of Christianity or uh, uh, the whole basis of that faith is um, is that we Jesus came so that we could be reconciled unto God, right? Uh, and the only way to do that is through Him. Mm-hmm. You could, you know, you could go this way, go that, go that, go that way. It doesn't. You could take a whole lot of a lot of ways, but in, it's, it, in the end, it's not going to get you where you think it's. Oh man, this deep, mm-hmm. this deep. No, I mean just to, to give yeah. to break it's it down, crazy. like what he was saying. So, it's crazy. Basic bottom line, like I said, it ain't no offense, you know, to anybody else's religion. No, no, but the, the, so the bottom line offense. is, is, is the bottom line is what he's saying is like everybody's is basically circled around the same. Just everybody has different names. Everybody give, but the fact is, like he said, they are all dependent on the man above. But at the end of the day, you who do you say who's right, who's wrong? At the end of the day, we don't have them stone tablets. So you can really only go off of what you know best and what you feel is best. So at the end of the day, we're not reading from them actual stone tablets. You'll never know. Nobody really yeah, knows. So know. you have to really just go off of what you feel best. Like right now, they'll tell you, like even in Christianity, they'll tell you it's Ten Commandments, but there's way more. Like well, there's way more. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you, if, if I don't mind, if you don't mind, if I mm-hmm. hear Jay. The things that we know today, the things that we, you know, when you go to school, what they put in your face, mm-hmm. put books in front of your face, mm-hmm. right? So the th- we the only the only way that we know that things happened in the past is from what books, they show us, mm-hmm. right? So, but that don't make it I right. I would say, I mean, you could you could say that hey, this person this person you know thwarted history within you know mm-hmm. they I'm gonna throw everybody out, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you could say that, you know, but how what's the likelihood of that of that happening, right? Now, think about it like this. When I look at the Bible, you look at the, the, the 12 disciples, right? 
these, every one of the disciples died horrific deaths. Every last one of them. They all died horrific deaths. Some was crucified upside down. Some was burned at the st- some was uh, was burned. Some some were stoned to death. Um, but what w- would you, as a person, if you knew the truth about something, would you be willing to to suffer? Would you be willing to to die an excruciating death? No. Promoting that lie, knowing that you could back out of it anytime you wanted to, <sighs> if you knew it was if you knew it was fake and you knew this was going to happen to you. Just to say, you know, hey man, I'm gonna throw everybody off, man. You know, these people think. You, it's, I don't know anybody stra- that would do that. It's strange. I don't, I don't know anyone that would do that. It's That's strange hard. because, because, That's like, hard. because mm-hmm. my whole thing is that I know that back then people definitely were still power hungry and tyrants, just mm-hmm. like we have tyrants now. Mm-hmm. So there could be some, because you know, like people believe in manipulation tactics. What's the best way? To, to stop these collection of people that are powerful and obscure what they're trying to stand for. The same reason they, going back in history, why they put drugs in the mm-hmm. neighborhoods and stuff like that. But that can be so a lie. It could also be a at lie. At the end of the day, That's go the back thing. to, we, <laughs> the truth, the truth we don't only go so off of. Obscurity, you know, yeah. There's a lot of that obscurity in it. So, I think the likelihood of somebody doing it, like I agree with you, is like, why would they even do something like that? But is it impossible? Mm-mm. It's not impossible. Is it, you know, it, is it likely? It's not like that's a, that's no, the question. Not we got, that's the question we got to ask. Is it likely? Yeah, because that's everything space. is possible. Because like, everything yeah. is possible. You can do anything. Yeah, you want, right, right. right. Yeah. With any intention you have, but what's mm-hmm. the likelihood? Yeah, the likelihood yeah. of you dying an excruciating death for a lot, something you know ain't, ain't right, just to mess with people in the future that you'll never meet is extremely slim. Unless mm-hmm. something. Now I can give you that. I can true, give you that true, because true. the who am I to say that? Oh, what I just said is going to even carry on to the mm-hmm. next next people mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. when it does it, it kind of debunks what's are in them books so with that being said we don't know like you said we do not know mm-hmm. but is it safe to say what's in the bible is not what it's claimed to be can that be a lie based off what what y'all would what you, y'all said you on that, on that? okay so yes to say like how you said the twelve disciples was burned at the stake. Yeah. Well, not well. They, they all. Well, died. I mean, well, yeah, you know, they they, all, they, they all died horrifically. Right, right, right. Except for except for James. So but basically, what you're saying, if, if we ain't meet the person who originally wrote that how story, do how do we know it's literally? How do exists? we know that they and that makes they sense. they that didn't sense. die or they didn't die how stoned to death, stripped, burned? How do you know? We're go- we're, the, we we're weren't still really there. going off a word yeah, yeah. We still of going somebody off a word. else. Not saying that the Bible is wrong. Right. I'm just saying that how do we know that is true? That everything he said came to Richard and that is it. Can I, can I, I, can I, I'm sorry. Oh, go go ahead. ahead. Yeah, I'm about to say you, you go ahead because I, I, I might be wrong. How do you yeah. know when you go to how do you know when you go to work at the end of at the end of your uh, two weeks you're gonna get a check? Gee, you really don't. You really don't. <laughs> you really don't. You really don't. You them over here. No I'm not that, 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 that business is shut down the next day. Blah, like, oh, man. We ain't got to check, dog. You don't, know. <laughs> you don't know. How do you know when you when you pull out of the, when you pull out of here that you are gonna make it back to the house? You don't know. You don't know. Mm. So every with everything we do, we don't think about it. We only have these conversations when it pertains to to ideas of faith, mm. uh, ideas <clears throat> of you know religion, um, and I believe there's a reason for that, but. We use faith throughout our life, oh, yeah. and you don't you don't realize it, but you're using faith. You don't know what you know. Do you you got kids? Yes. Okay. You had kids in faith. You didn't know how long you gonna have those kids around. Everybody not promised. The next day, some kids that never leave the hospital after they're born. Hey man, you good? So it's like <laughs> this. you don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah. We use that's what that's what you know. When you have, when you talk about a relationship with God, mm-hmm. you're talking about using faith because God, you can't physically see God, mm-hmm. but yeah. you can see His, you can see the effects of Him all around you if you open your eyes, mm-hmm. and you know you can't. So you you have to say like you have. There's a level of faith involved when you don't. Yeah, we don't. I never met. I never met Paul. You know, he wrote two thirds of the Bible in, in in letters to the churches. I never met none of the disciples. You know, I never met Abraham. You know, but there's a level of faith that I have when I when I read. I say, man, how plausible is this? Mm-hmm. You know, if there's a level of faith when 
you know, when you go through your life, you say, man, I don't know, but I'm going anyway. So basically what you're saying is you... <laughs> you, you, you gotta make the best choices yeah, you, you got you, I, choices because, and decisions I, I, bro. I, when I what I read is what I'm supposed to dissect you take and take it take how you want to take it so bro. with that being said okay I cool. would say make an informed decision mm-hmm. I don't want to say follow follow anything blind okay. yeah, yeah. but so, if you don't investigate it you'll never know what it, what it actually says and I can give you that so then so let me ask you this and I want y'all to answer it too cause this question has been flowing around forever okay is Jesus black Jesus, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can almost say that I can promise, almost guarantee. I mean, that that was actually in mm-hmm. what we call it. Yeah. And they took it out. But you like, have people that, that say, weird, you have people that say that is not the truth. All right, I'm gonna. Can, I, I, you, got, you wanna, you wanna say something? <laughs> no, I, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have, I got, I got I some of that, but you know, when you dissect it, different, I have a completely different topic in mind. So y'all go ahead. Well, okay. is God black? I'll, I, I, I'll tell you like this. This, like I said, this is going. This is this not popular <laughs> hey, opinion. Hey, not popular hey, we sorry, man. Hey, hey. As I as I said before, you have to have a truth, right? You got to okay. have a truth, and the truth got to be rooted in something, right? People, some people say Jesus was black. No, I don't, you I, believe I, I, he's black. <laughs> we actually you. I don't act. I don't care about <laughs> nobody else. You. And, and we're not attacking <laughs> nobody. Y'all think what you want to think. Oh, but I need to know. Oh, fix it, fix it. Oh, pause, pause, pause. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good. Okay. Because I don't care about nobody else's yeah. opinion right yeah. now. Yeah. Are we back oh. on? Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. <laughs> you know that's a corrective action. Click <laughs> something. Sound done came on the screen. <laughs> that's wild. Is it all messed up? No, you good, you good. Sound done came on the screen, though. No, you good. It just popped up. Let's see. Oh, we, oh, someone gave him a corrective action for this. Oh no. Hold on, let me see, let me see, let me try to technical, technical difficulties. difficulties. Technical difficulties. Okay, hold on, hold on, let me see. <laughs> keep, keep us keep us lifted in prayer. All right. Uh as we go through this trial. Oh man, no. We go there we go. All right. You gonna have to lean in it. Oh yeah, he good, oh, wait, he good, he good, he wait good. no no no, it's flipped, it's flipped, it's flipped. It's flipped. <laughs> it's flipped. Oh, snap. God damn. So who's getting the corrective action? Oh my god. Okay, he good. Okay, okay we're back. Oh, my <laughs> man, we good. We we're good. Back. What are you saying, man? So screw all that. I don't care about nobody else's opinion but yours. Do you think he's black? Jesus, I, I would say I do not believe Jesus is black. I don't believe he was black in the, in his his bodily form while he was here. The reason why I say oh, that, yeah. oh, the reason why I say that is that if you look at the area that they were in, where Israel, Bethlehem, all that mm-hmm. stuff, they are black. That, that area over there is is middle is a middle eastern. They are middle eastern. A middle like, eastern. Like uh, that's that's the that's the appearance that you typically gonna that you typically gonna get in that in that region that all of those events in the Bible took place. So I would say he's not black. I would say I would I would edge more towards Middle Eastern appearance. So right oh, oh. now, even I don't like, know, man. Now I tell you, I'll tell you like this: mm-hmm. people will say, uh, you know, the Bible says that he's black. There it is. Hair like wool. The nah, Bible does not me. say that he's black. The Bible says that his hair was in the wool, vision. In the vision copper. that he said, he said his hair was white like, like wool, not. His hair was wool. Or I thought it said his hair wool. of wool and skin of copper. His, I tell you what, if, if y'all don't mind, I can pull it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, pull yeah. it up. This is why we put you here. Okay, so here, so let me kind of, I'm about to say, so why he put, I was going to say that. Let you me know. add something in while he's oh. looking that up. Go ahead. So, why do you think that, because if, he, if he's the creator and he created all of us in his image and he ultimately had a roadmap for us, I would say, why do you think he gave us free will? That's why I say give you uh, basically the choice of choice and decision. You got the choice of free will because of the fact is basically everybody's put here to basically I wouldn't say it's like a game, Mm -hmm. but it's sort of like depicting on your own life. You got the choice if you're real because at the end of the day you don't want to feel like you're in a prison, so you have the choice to live your life. So everybody has a role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I say that he create he created us right in Mm -hmm. his image, and if he wanted us to be perfectly in his image. Why give us free will? And why not just have because us it's a there's role. a such thing as yeah. good and evil you in the gotta, world. You gotta play your role. This is yeah. like a big no, anime that, that's, that's going thing, on. Though. That's that's my question though. Why even have that be a thing? Like be- why even if you want it, the goal is li- literally for us to follow I think I got in it. line, right? Is this is this is what I've laid out in the map for you? This is the things I want you to do. 
But why even give that option to begin with? Because you have the power to just be like, okay, these are the people that I've created, and this is how I want things to go. And I can make them go this way. But instead, I'm going to let you give you free will, and then, you know, inevitably you how mess you, up you, and all this. How do you, you learn in that path? You know your end you goal in life. Why even? But right. you have here's, to learn. Here's, here's the thing. Here's you, uh, the thing and your end goal in life is to find your purpose. Yeah, you you, you, know you got to learn right. on, your, on your path to greatness. Yeah. I, if I put, if I lay it out for you, and you, we talked about this before. Mm-hmm. Two people, one one has had a hard life, one has uh, had an easy life. Mm-hmm. Who's more likely to succeed? The mm-hmm. person that's had the life that's been passed on, or the person that's going through the don't, trials and tribulations, and don't basically. learn anything. You have to learn something. If I just put the path, that means I I laid out everything for you, and you've learned nothing. You've gained. Nothing. Not saying that you did it, but not the stuff that you're supposed to learn. I showed you how to do it. You go out there to fish. I go out there to show you how to think. I show you how to fish. Oh yeah, you don't matter with you, but I, I don't. I don't. You out there by yourself, and you don't know not to try to ring that eighty pound fish. You go to try to ring that eighty pound I'm, fish. I'm, you I'm, get brought in. I want to you, come back to that easy that. life, yeah. that easy life, hard life yeah. thing. But I want you to answer right. the free will question. No, I wasn't a free will. He, the, I think he was going back off of uh, the skin of copper thing. Oh, okay. I could, I could jump, jump back. Okay, you? okay, okay. Yeah, because he's going to dig into me. And so, I'm going for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you want me to stick? Oh, no, I want yeah, you to. Yeah, I want you to start. Yeah, yeah, because I, okay. I got a little well, something well, I want to bounce well, off of that, we'll, too. We'll pause on the, on the, the free will uh, thing. Okay. Free will thing. Okay. I'm sorry. Because he ain't going to like this. Yeah, yeah, Lily. <laughs> so, <laughs> camera. So, my bad, man. I love you. Um, so, I'm going I'm to I'm read the, the verse, right? The, mm-hmm. how did, Which version for the people out there? Which version are you reading? I'm reading out of the NIV. I can switch to the New King James if you want. No, this for the people out there to know. The NIV. This today is the NIV. That just so happened to have that one pulled up already, without switching. It's just quickest thing to get to. Mm-hmm. Uh, Revelation one. So Revelation is the last book of the Bible, um, and it talks a lot about end times and you know how things would be. You know, in the in the end. Um, and John is the disciple. He he was he was uh, exiled to the island, uh, island of Patmos. Um, and he received a vision from a vision of uh, Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus came to him and, you know, told him a lot of stuff. So starting it out, it says, uh, let's see here. I, I don't know how much, how much. I, I'll just read the whole, the whole chapter, right? It's a short chapter. It says, uh, John's vision of Christ. I, John, your brother and companion in the suffering and kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus was on the island of Patmos because of the word of God. And the testimony of Jesus. So basically he got exiled because he was telling people about Jesus and people weren't trying to hear it and kicked him out of there. Um, On the Lord's day, I was in the spirit and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet, which said, write on a scroll what you see and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamum, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. It said, I turned around to see the voice that was speaking to me. And when I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands, and among the lampstands was someone like a son of man, dressed in a robe, reaching down to his feet, and with a golden sash around his chest. The hair on his head was white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like blazing fire. His feet were like bronze, excuse me, his feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace, Mm. and his voice was like the sound of rushing waters. In his right hand, he held seven stars, and coming out of his mouth was a sharp double-edged sword. With his face, excuse me, his face was like the sun, shining in all its brilliance. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. Then he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, and now look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. Right, therefore, what you have seen, what is now, and what will take place later. The mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand and of the seven golden lampstands is this. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. Okay, so mm. here on. we see him um, describing, this is effectively Jesus coming to him to tell him about all this stuff. Ain't nobody the red eyes, though. That kind of, mm-hmm. that, that's, that's, that's new. You know what I'm saying? Because of the fact, I'm going to be real eyes. with you, like, the way they say he's supposed to be a skin, I, I is not really a skin color. I believe in, but if you go off an area mm-hmm. that he's actually from, I, I mean, he's I've, he's only take physical form. You really would never really know what his physical form is. Know. 
Hmm? That'd be like melanin skin. Yeah, that's what I was going to get into. So if you really think about it, anybody that has melanin within their skin and it can survive in the sun as the children of the sun, they're considered black. Same thing if you go and you take every color of the rainbow right now and you mix all them colors together, what color do you get? Black. black. You're going to get black. Every color of the rainbow except for one I color, I except for one color, will keep all them colors black except for one color, which will change all the colors. I don't want to go into details because I don't want to. There's only one color. That will ever we, change we, the shade of black, bro. About too. And that's that's real that's reality. There's only one color that ever changed the shade of black. Everybody is from this. That's why they I don't agree with all these race. Everybody's of your human race, other than some folks that were found in mm. some mountains a while ago. Mm. So, so we, we, I want to go back to that. Yeah, let's go back because I don't. Right, know. Right, so I, 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 I like that deal. Ooh, <laughs> I want to go back to but that. That'll like get a little serious because you triggered something to me that I never thought about with the easy life, hard life thing. So you saying that the person, just so I understand, so the person that has the harder life and compared to a person that has an easier life when they're trying to get somewhere, the person that had the harder life is going to have a, an advantage because they've had a hard life. They're going to learn more, have more have more information and how to go through things. You know what? But what's funny about that is that, and it's interesting to me, is that maybe the person that had the easy life had the easy life because they learned. You feel what I'm saying? Because it could be a perception of you having a hard life because you're going through things and you're not learning. But the person that has easy life, when they experience something, they either learn from it or they learn from somebody else, which overall could make their life easy. Well, let you know me, I mean? then, okay, so let me flip it then. Mm -hmm. The person who had the hard life has a hard life, right? Mm -hmm. He has to go through the trenches, learn stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the person that has the easier life that's already paved? It go back to what I said. You got to constantly learn. Yeah. So if you're not I, constantly if learning, yeah. that person still ends yeah, up if a I'm better looking, person. Now, this is what I can say. The person who got the easy life, mm -hmm. how he learns. I'm watching the person who got the harder life go through all the struggles. Mm -hmm. And now I'm watching you. Man, I don't got to do that. I'm going to go on this path because I got it already. Now I'm watching him go through all that struggle, pain, hardship. Mm -hmm. And but, he's learning from you. But what if oh, you go through it? Right. Now okay. you can see yeah. it, but are you physically yeah. capable of if handling we, if it? If we switch them roles, I guarantee you, he ain't gonna learn how to survive, mm -hmm. how to go through the trenches, how to swim, how to eat, how to hunt. He ain't gonna know like, nothing. Would you go he, out and shark hunt right it's now? Just, it's just, but what I'm talking about is more of a perspective, not mm -hmm. like literally mm -hmm. like easy. Because you could have a hard life, and your life could just continue to be hard until you die because you don't know how to navigate it. Whereas yeah, somebody, yeah. Now I'm about to say, somebody, yeah, that if makes somebody sense. Somebody that has an easy life, it's easy for a reason. Now it could. Now, the the example you're using is presumably that they have a, a open path paved for them, but they could start at the same point and just be like, okay, we had this bad experience happen to us. The hard life person could play the victim, where the, the easy life person could be like, well, I know this happened, but what can I do about it? So and that'll you? that'll essentially make your life the easy life versus this person that hard that has the hard life. Could have the easy life, but they also could continue. So, what, what I'm so, basically saying is so that what I'm basically, no, no, listen. What so, I'm basically, listen, listen. What I'm basically saying is, you, even though you have a hard life, doesn't necessarily mean that your life is going to get easier mm -hmm. because you have a hard life. You have to make your life easier. Mm -hmm. So which so, one did God put then for you? Because you just said they, if yeah. God, both of them. Now I'm gonna be real with you. Like it, it, with being easy. Mm -hmm. No one should ever be comfortable with their life being easy. Come to be real with you. You'll never be comfortable with it getting hard again. So what did yeah, you learn? No, so that's why I say at the end of the day, you can be easy all the time. But once you go back to hard, that'd be that person that to give up first versus somebody that started off hardship. Right. If you actually learn, if you actually learn from it and right. you make it through, that's like you, that's basically go back to the phrase. Never forget where you came from. Mm -hmm. If you do that, you go back that person to be sitting back here comfortable. Like, OK, I know it's the time versus that person that went through that easy life. Mm -hmm. They never went through that hardship. That person is now yeah, going <laughs> crazy because. They didn't actually learn that process. Yeah. So, yeah, it'd be easy, but it all yeah. matters when it gets hard. And I say that's God. That's all it is. That, and that's why I say that's God's will. God, that's like saying God's going to put five million in your lap. That person but what are you going to do with it? That person with the easy shit, well, well I'm just going to put buy something else, mm -hmm. do something else. That person with that hardship is going to know what to do with that because I've been through that. So, when you say, when you ask the question, mm -hmm. does God, why would God give you free will? Because most people need the the understanding. They need to know to learn. Hey, and this is the path I made for you. Now, yes, it say God flips it, and that person that had the easy way, mm -hmm. that easy path, 
put you in the same boat as that person that's had the hard path. He wouldn't know what to do. Now I have to learn something that I should have learned, mm-hmm. but that's free will. Mm-hmm. I gave you free will to learn that because you need to learn. Mm-hmm. Without no, without you, without you grasping anything, you'll you'll crumble. So I wouldn't say he. I wouldn't put it that God said, "Well, I have a, a set plan for you, mm-hmm. and this is what you're gonna do." No, I believe that God put. Guidelines That's basically that God. God put you on a path That yes I would say He probably does have A, a thing for you mm-hmm. But He wants to see Are you gonna get To that point in, That I expect you To be at And that Going off Your free will Going off What you think You should do mm-hmm. So of course I ain't gonna make it Easy for you mm-hmm. Cause you ain't gonna Learn nothing right. But if I put A little couple of things There mm-hmm. And I see you Okay I got it Oh he doing good I might throw him a blessing now because he's starting to gain. He's starting to get to a point where I set for him that I want him to be. Right. And I believe that's the free will. That's where that comes in. You, so know, I, you know, I love y'all brothers, but we want to get closing remarks. We going yeah. on like an hour. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I mean, yeah, we, 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 it's been a good one here. Question, but. Right? Uh, I don't think I answered that question. But let me answer the free will. Yeah, that's what I said. We're going to do our closing remarks. Um, I think the... The... <laughs> And it just deals with something you said earlier that, that made me laugh because <laughs> it was because I felt like it was true. Like we 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 do live in a in a in a in a a simulation in a sense, right? Um, almost like <clears throat> almost like the Matrix. Um, it's funny how much the, that movie parallels parallels our life. It does. It does. Um, but ultimately, per the Bible, right? The our our purpose is to our purpose here the one purpose that we have is to love God our purpose is to be reconciled unto him now as far as free will goes God gave God made us with free will so that we would choose him and this is what I mean by that mm, you can't love that. and be in a relationship a, a true you can't have true love if you mm-hmm. are forcing an individual to love to love you if you know you, you just you, it's not there you know what I mean that person never chose you you forced you made them do something right so God didn't make us robots that's you, there's no real there's no real love with, so with there's the definitely so, somebody so, else so, to choose wait, from so wait, wait, but wait, wait, I don't wait, think you want to make wait, that wait, choice so, <laughs> so wait, I have a question so what, does that yeah. so in a way does that mean God requires validation no God doesn't need you he doesn't need you anything. require so we, validation. We require validation. Everything that everything that that's in the Bible, right? Everything that's in the Bible is for your benefit, mm-hmm. right? God is not you. He not us. He Damn, is, that's a whole another thing that I heard too. That that he's say within that we are us. God. Yeah, but I, but that's, I think that's, 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 that's in that's Romans though. That's, that's in Romans though. That, yeah. No, it's, but, it's in Romans. But they say that sin, though. it's not to believe that you are to believe that He lives within you. That's in Romans thirteen twelve, I think. But that's the believe reason. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I was, just, I was just saying, I was just saying, he lives with you are not God, but he lives yeah, within cause everyone. I, cause I believe you that, are part that, of that'd him. be a sin well, to call yourself a God. Well, here's Man. the thing: you're not. We are not God or guys in the sense of right. mm-hmm. being able to be Him, like in in that in that perspective, right? Um, when you come, to, according to the Bible, when you when you come to faith in Christ, you are, excuse me, you you then receive uh, the gift of the, you you receive the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the third person in the Godhead. You got Father, Son, Holy Spirit. When Jesus died, he's when Jesus died and came back, before he sent it into heaven, he said, I will send you a helper. So you won't be able I'll send you a helper. Somebody's gonna help you get through this thing and help you do it the way that that mm-hmm. you know that that uh that I'm I'm telling you how to do it. Um God also said before that um in the in the old testament, and it just forgive me, I'm paraphrasing, paraphrasing. No, you good, you good. That uh, uh, you won't have to ask each other about about me. You and my laws will be written on your heart, be written in your minds and the heart, so they will know me. So basically, the Holy Spirit is God living inside of you when you come to faith in Christ. So that the Holy Spirit helps you to overcome the challenges and the things that we go through, the temptations and the stuff that we go through in life. Um, it helps us to do the will of God. Um, and so that's not God abandoning. God didn't abandon us. He left us with help. Mm-hmm. He left us with himself. He gave himself to atone for our sins in in 
in uh, in Christ's son, right? And then not only did he did he do the job for us, he sent us help so that until we get back to him, we can we can do it the right way. Mm. Now it's on us to decide what we you know we can choose to ignore this ignore the the spirit and we can choose to go to do what we're supposed to do. We all have a choice. That's free will. Again, God is not going. God is a gentleman. Oh. I tell people this all the time. God is a gentleman. He's not going to force himself on you. He's going to. He's going to say, "Hey, look. This is. I'm, I'm. This. I'm laying it out before you here. It's up to you to decide what you what you want to do. Do you love me or do you not? Oh no. And I'm not going to make you love. Exactly. Me. Oh, this gonna, I love. This I love, I love all my individuals, and what he said makes exactly sense. Because if you look at the way that the world is going now. You know, a lot of people trying to live their life free will, and um, you're going against. Ooh, yeah, you know, I'm not even gonna touch down on that, but uh, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, and like you said, you know about it. The the book of Revelations is a scary chapter to read. And can we have a part two? But it should be encouraging. Encouraging. It's it's very. That river dried up. I'm scared as hell. I'm scared as crap. That's the encouragement. Listen, that's the encouragement because you know. But hey, y'all better get y'all better get on y'all stuff before we end up seeing some stuff we ain't never seen. (laughs) Matter of fact, it's already happening. It's happening now. We gonna start seeing some stuff you ain't never seen before because y'all wanna be out here living willy nilly. And not living the right, living out here, living that blasphemous life. That's what you're going can on. Can we have we a part are, two to this? Yeah, we, we can have a part I'm two. I'm, I'm part nervous two. now because okay. we talking about Revelation and he just agreed with me. Now I'm making me nervous. That word, that river don't dry. I don't know what's up under there, but y'all better stop playing, bro. I, 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 I don't want to know about I know them seven angels. I, I don't know them seven angels better stay up under there. Uh-huh, they better stay up under there. All of them. Can we have All a, of them better stay up under there. Can we have a part two to this? No, as long as it ain't this part right here. No, no, not this one. Oh, man. No, another. another. Revelations talk about some some real revelation. We all be out here. No, we have a part two because I feel like there's other stuff that we need to cover as well. You know, because I have some. Hey, man, this was this was. Yeah, this oh was man, I almost up. forgot. I didn't wrap it up. This was definitely a round of applause again for my boy Rob, man. Man, much insight. We definitely yeah. part two. We definitely we, we definitely got to you know because we started getting a little bit deeper towards the end, but we've been we running on y'all for like an hour, man. so yeah. hour and thirty. But hey, man, let you know it's hey, been a good one, man. We're doing you know, the devil next time. Yeah, the, who? We're doing, no, we talking no, about hey, the devil hey, next cut time. Cut his mic off. We got we got we got Well, not <laughs> technically, because he was. I mean, technically, Whoa. he is a big part of the. Because I got some he questions. Is, he is, but so part two, part two. We gotta right. talk. We gotta. We talked about. We gotta talk about. Because my girlfriend say something. Because that would kind of go back into the thing of free will too. Okay. Because that's the whole reason why you have free will. See how we going? They constantly are kind of about it. So I understand. So that that kind of makes sense. This is the way you brought it out. It's just like no, we ain't talking about it. We ain't with no Illuminati stuff. We 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 he's gonna have deep voices and stuff. Yeah. We but, can do it. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, down, yeah. man. I'm down. I'm, so, hey, okay, you got that good part out. Cut his mic off. Hey, man, yeah, cause he about to. Hey, hey, we wrap it up. Hey, wait, wait, Twenty-seven, wait, man. Wait, wait, this is a wrap, wait, man. Appreciate y'all. I swear, it's for the Lord. It's for the Lord, man. It's for the Lord. It's for the Lord. I know. Usually, I say something crazy at the end. Not this. Not this. Not this time. Cut it off. This for the Lord. It's good. Can I say one thing? Go ahead. I just want. I really want to stress that. Again. We spoke about the folks earlier, and again, my eyes. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear about that. You know how you make it up. You know how you make it up. Hmm. Do you know how you make it up? Because he already said. So, like I said, this gonna be in, and I'm done. I ain't gonna say nothing now. Go ahead, finish your statement. I'm gonna tell you. I would say, I would say that this, this, this is the gospel. That well, God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Meaning, if you put your faith in Christ and you you follow Him, you already have the gift of forever. You already have the gift of forever. We're going to go through things. That's life. Life is full of ups and downs, and it's, it's you're never. We're not promised a perfect a perfect life. But God is good that He is He has supplied us with what we need. And he's given us his son, and we have the ability to be reconciled unto him forever should we put our faith in him. But outside of that, you know, you're free to make whatever decision you want to make. And I'm glad I'm not here to push no push my agenda on nobody. I'm just here to say what, the truth and what I believe. And I'm glad truth. you gave me that because I want you to save it and you owe me. All right. <laughs> Two weeks from now, this Sunday. Rome the one's first Baptist church is gonna have my man oh, right here, right here. We're gonna end it off with, with a little been bit right of here. black culture known in all churches. Let me see if y'all know as I got it finished, man. Rome God the... is good. All the time. Hey, man. Yeah. How you doing right there? <laughs> Two weeks from now, you'll catch me. Don't That's let them great. fool you. You know what's you know what's funny is that 
The reason I even said the validation thing because the way you worded it, it sounded like, it's like oh, he, he wants to, us to choose him. And I'm like, 